It's almost as if the artist makes a contract with the artwork itself. In this contract, you agree to plant a flag when you achieve a likeness and then you press on because the likeness is the middle of the journey, not the end. You agree to put the measurements away at that point and keep working because in the end, the truth you're looking for can't be represented by numbers. A few years after I began my career, a prominent sculptor by the name of Ed Hamilton gave me this. As you can see, it's the realistic depiction of a man's face. This is the face of heavyweight boxing champion Joe Lewis. It's made of plaster, and it's done in a manner called realism. As a realist, I'm working within a tradition that is thousands of years old, and that's a sobering thought, because I'm following in some very big footsteps. The most famous realist was probably Michelangelo. He sculpted the Pietà when he was 24 years old. 24. But Michelangelo was an exception. Mortals like myself can easily find themselves in middle age before they're really good at this. And we can't just replicate the past. We have to find some way to distinguish ourselves. So every client is golden. Every project is one more chance to rise higher than the person you were yesterday. The artist makes a contract with the artwork itself. In this contract, he agrees to create something that meets his personal expectations, which is almost always higher than the client's expectations, because that's what it takes to rise, continuously improve, and maybe, maybe, join the ranks of the great ones who came before you.